Hey, what's up guys? He's no talk Sam here or the Sense of A2, whatever channel you're watching this video on. Because at the moment I'm not entirely sure what channel I'm gonna upload this video on. Mainly because, you know, I review Zedman on Mondays and I've probably stated this in a video or two that I'm not really a huge fan of uploading videos. Well, two videos on two videos on on the same day on a on an account. So um but yeah, this most likely will be on the Sense of Seven Eight Two. We'll see. Um but, uh, yeah, so, for anyone who missed my, I made a bulletin last night saying I will be making a Toonami video, and pretty much today, ch completely changed the entire premise of that video, because that video, I'll just say this, this um, the video I was planning on making about Toonami was, you know, saying, was pretty much discussing what show, what reasonable shows I would like to see on the block, and what shows I would not like to see on the block, like, Say for example, you hot and show. Like I know some people wanted that on the block, but honestly, it would be kind of just it would be you know it would be pretty much obsolete to have you hot show on the block, man, because you could get the entire damn series less than sixty bucks. So I mean, why? What? Yeah, just the stuff like that, and also pretty much I would prefer the block to consist of shows that are not on DVD or Blu-ray yet. I mean, it'll be cool. I mean, I wouldn't. I'll be fine if they, you know, put shows that you could, you know, pick up the DVD or Blu-ray right now. But you know, but preferably, I would prefer them to, you know, put shows that are not on DVD and Blu-ray yet. Um, so yeah. So uh, today, this or actually this morning, I actually found this out. Um, yeah, really early this morning that they went ahead and pretty much put out the schedule for Tsunami this Saturday and. The two shows that are going to be joining the Toonami block are Cash Rin Sins and Dead Man Wonderland. So, which, me personally, I'm I'm fine with it actually because they got they got one show that's not on DVD and Blu-ray yet, and another show you could pretty much get the entire series of, which is Cash Rin Sins. Cash Rin Sins, I believe, is 24 episodes, and I've heard mixed things about Cash Rin Sins because I heard it. I heard some people find it good but boring, and also and vice versa. So. And Dead Man Wonderland, just, I mean, Dead Man Wonderland was a, a shock, was pretty much a surprise to me, considering the fact how, since, for anyone who's seen the show, you know, you could, you, under, you probably understand where I'm coming from, as to why I'm surprised they decided to, you know, put Dead Man Wonderland, because honestly, I, I honestly didn't expect, you know, even Adult Swim to even pick up Dead Man Wonderland, but, you know, it's still cool, nonetheless, um, I bet you that Funimation's Pretty much going to be making a good, major, a good amount of money, considering the fact they have three of their shows on the lineup, which are Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Dead Man Wonderland, and Cash and Sin. So, um, so yeah, pretty much the schedule for Toonami is, you know, from 12 to 3, 12 to two thirty or twelve to three. Um, you got Bleach coming in first, um, obviously. Um, then you got Dead Man Wonderland at twelve thirty, Cash and Sins at one o'clock. Brotherhood at 1.30, Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex Second Gig at 2, and Cowboy Bebop at 2.30. And, and also there have been, um, actually I saw some questions as to, you know, why they, they're they still keeping um, Bebop and um, Ghost in the Shell, considering the fact they've, they've, Bebop has been running, has been, been has been re-ran for like, almost, like, I want to say almost 11 years, and and yeah, the same thing with Ghost in the Shell. And the reason as to why they continue to rerun Bebop and uh, Ghost in the Shell is because they, it to this day, it still gets high ass ratings. So that's the major reason why there's it's still it's still on Adult Swim, like because it gets ratings. Probably even it gets high ratings. Probably it gets ratings that could probably that probably even rival. Bleach and Brotherhood's ratings, so that's that's the main reason why they they still keep um Bebop and Ghost and Shell around. So, um, so yeah, and they've also and Jason Jason D. Marco, um, who is the who was a former producer of Tsunami, pretty much you know stated in his Twitter um, certain things about the block on Saturday, such as you know, um, you there won't be any Dragon Ball Z or Naruto mainly because and and I quote: "The rights to those shows are owned by our, our, the rights to those shows are owned by our competition or are out of our price range." Which, 
he continued saying that they have, they have, th this tsunami has pretty much a very low budget. Um, so, yeah, that's the main reason as to why they couldn't get Naruto or DBZ, or it could have been the other reason as to, you know, it's, you know, other people have, which I'm assuming he's probably referring to Disney XD and Nicktoons or Toons I. Um, so, and then, yeah, so, considering the fact they're on a very low budget, hold on one second, okay, um, the reason why they're at a low budget, um, well, actually, no, he didn't even say the reason as to why they're on a low budget, but, um, but he said that if you guys want, like, he was like, he said that if you guys want more shows and more stuff on this tsunami, then the, the ratings have to be superiorly high, like, for them to get more funding, to get new shows, more Tom animation, etc., etc., because one of the things he said that wasn't going to be on tsunami, which was on the original tsunami, was Sarah. Anyone who remembers Sarah, um, that lady that, you know, sits beside Tom, um, they said that they can't, Sarah isn't going to be on there because apparently it costs a shit ton of money to create her, so, um, yeah, and they also said that Peter Cullen won't be, won't be doing the promos because he's busy, um, and, uh, yeah, and pretty much he also said that they're looking in, they're still looking into a lot of shows for Toonami because they said, because he said, um, Panty and Stocking, Fairy Tale, and Inuyasha, the final act, are, are some of the many few sh some of the many shows they're looking into, um, put on Toonami. So, you know, even though Fairy Tale and Panty and Stocking, you know, aren't on the lineup, you know, as of now, there's still hope for them. And the same can be said about One Piece because, like I, got, like I said, it all depends on the ratings. And if the ratings are good, then they get more funding to pick up more shows. So, um, yeah, so pretty much I can't stress enough to, you know, watch the block if you guys want more stuff on the Tsunami block. Um, and, um, is that it? So, yeah, and I find it kind of funny how, like, you know, for anyone who follows Funimation on Twitter or even, or hell, even on Facebook, I want to say for the past three Maybe even four days they they've been pushing to have um, Panty and Stocking on um, on um, on Toonami, but yet Dem and Wonderland gets picked up instead. So I mean I find I find it kind of funny that you know it just it was pretty much in vain. I mean maybe down the line they will pick up um, Panty and Stocking, but like just I mean I find that kind of weird. Like literally out of all the shows they have, they're pushing Panty and Stocking. Panty and Stocking Panty and Stocking would be the show they they just randomly would push to be on Toonami, and I, oh my, <laughs> um, link in the description as to, um, to a Toonami bump, which I believe aired last night, um, they pretty much trolled their viewers by putting up the Toonami schedule, and the schedule consisted of Panny and Stocking at 12 o'clock, and then this show, which I don't remember its name, airing from 1 to, um, 1 to, um, 2.30, so I'm like, <laughs> why, <laughs> I'm sorry, I kind of got kicked out of, that was pretty funny, um, <laughs> oh, shit, <laughs> I'm sorry, but, uh, but, yeah, just, I mean, maybe that's a sign that there actually are, they actually are listening to the people, the shit, the shit ton of people that are, that have been requesting, um, Panty and Stocking to be on the block, but, <laughs> wow, um, but, so yeah, so pretty much that's I guess that's pretty much all I gotta say. Um, looking forward to seeing Dead Man Wonderland and Cash and Sims, mainly Dead Man Wonderland because I've been meaning to rewatch that series and now I have a an incentive to do so by watching it in dub because I believe because um I don't think Dead Man Wonderland is probably good. Dead Man Wonderland probably won't get released on DVD or Blu-ray probably until either September or October because I looked at the August schedule, the August Funimation schedule, release schedule for um August. And Dead Man Wonderland wasn't on it, so it's a good thing. So, I mean, I gotta give props to Toonami slash Adult Swim for putting on a show that's not on DVD and Blu-ray yet. Um, and I'd like to see more of these more of these shows that aren't on DVD or Blu-ray yet at the time to be on the block. Because, honestly, it gives more exposure to the show and give, it actually gives people an incentive to actually buy, buy the products. So, 
Anyway, what do you guys think about the new lineup? Are you excited to see Dead Man Wonderland and Catherine Sins on on TV? Uh, leave any comments regarding the sit regarding the schedule or anything tsunami related in the description in the in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next not next week, but I'll see you guys in my next video. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah, have an awesome day.